Welcome to the Sun River Angler's Fly Tying Corner for this month. I'm going to tie a Chernobyl ant. This is a pattern I used long ago up in Montana quite a bit. And now that I live in Central Oregon, I've brought this fly back into my box and use it quite a bit on our local rivers like the Upper Deschutes, um, like the Crooked River, and others. But also, more importantly, I use it on lakes. And I often use it as a, a strike indicator fly and run a dropper underneath. But often as not, a big old fish will come up and eat the Chernobyl, even in still waters. So for that reason, it's, it's become a favorite for me. Um, it was responsible for my largest uh, trout last year in Hosmer Lake. I like this pattern for the reason that it's an easy fly to tie um, and, and it works. So I always carry a few of these in my fly box to use uh, every time I'm out uh, from the beginning of the season till late in the season. So let's cover the materials for this pattern. I'll review them uh, individually one by one, but here's the entire list. For the hook, I'm going to use fire hole sticks of fire hole 718 in size 8. You can run this 6 to 10, maybe even 12 if you prefer. This is a barbless competition hook. For the thread, I'm going to use Danville's 70 denier in brown. For the body, I've got Spirit River UV2 dubbing in golden stone. For a hackle, I've got a Whiting Farms dry fly saddle hackle, and this is a grizzly dyed brown. And then I'm going to rib that hackle with uh, a UTC gold wire in fine, just to add some strength and durability to the fly. For the foam overbody, I'm using a three millimeter closed cell foam in tan. And then I tie a little tag of two millimeter um, orange over the top of it to basically act as a strike indicator and make it easier to see. And lastly, for the legs, I'm using just a, a brown rubber legs. And you can, you can vary the color here, but I happen to have brown on my fly tying desk. And that's what I tied on this sample. So I've tied on my thread and wound back to the tail set position on the hook. Next, I'll start by clipping off a strip of my tan foam and I'll clip it probably about 5 sixteenths of an inch wide and then I'm going to take and just nub off the corners of the back or the trailing edge of this foam and tie that in at the tail set position on the fly. I'm going to overhang the back end of the fly probably about the amount of the hook gape. Next, I have two pieces of my rubber leg material, and I'm going to tie that in with a couple, three soft wraps right on top of that foam. And I'll clip off the uh, forward piece to match the backward piece. And then uh, I'll, I'll kind of pull these apart to position them in place, hanging off the side of the hook. And then I'll take a couple more wraps and cinch those down with uh, a tighter wrap. I'll kind of wiggle and pull these into position to get them right where I want them. And let me rotate my vise so you can see that from the top and see how these legs are laying. So next, I'm going to take a small piece of the orange foam, and I'm going to tie that again right into that gap on top of the other foam. And, and this is going to help me see this fly more effectively when I'm on the water.
So I'm going to pull all this material back and tie the thread in front of the foam. And I'm going to tie in my saddle hackle. And then I'm going to tie in my gold um, ribbing wire. Uh, we'll do that in advance of dubbing the body for this fly. So now I'm going to dub uh, my UV2 material onto the thread. And I've got a fairly sizable uh, amount of dubbing on this thread because I've got a cover of full size 8 hook. I'm not really going to try and taper the body much. I'm, I'm going to tie in a, a fairly flat dubbed body all the way up to the uh, wing set position or up to the front of the hook. If I didn't start with enough material, I can add some midway through and just spin it onto the existing. You'll note that I spin this around the thread itself and basically create a dubbing yarn over the, the thread core that I'm tying with. So now I'm going to wind the hackle forward and I'll use probably about five to six wraps to bring it to the forward part of the hook and then I'll tie the hackle off. Next I'm going to counter wrap the ribbing wire. And this is really to add some durability to this fly and keep that hackle from getting torn apart in trout teeth. It'll, it'll make your fly a whole lot more durable. And I'll tie that off at the eye of the hook and clip off the excess. With my thread right at the head position, I'll go ahead and fold that tag end of foam that I uh, had reserved earlier all the way over to the head. And I'm going to tie that in right at the head position. And then I'll clip off the, the remaining foam um, about the width of the hook gape in front of the eye. And then I'll just nub off the, the uh, corners to give it a, a almost a rounded look to the uh, foam. So then I'm going to repeat the steps that I did at the rear of the fly. Um, at this uh, foam segment, I'm going to tie in with two soft wraps my rubber legs and uh, clip them even. And then I'm going to pull them apart and, and position them um, on the hook. And once I've done that, I'll, I'll wrap a couple of stronger wraps down on top of that to make sure it's firmly in place. And then I'll put in my little orange tag again so I can see this fly better on the water. And lastly, I'll whip finish this right at the head. And that's your finished fly. So let me rotate this around in the vise so you can get a, a perspective of the uh, underside and the top of this pattern. It's a really good one. I hope you'll give it a try. The fish seem to like it. I'm, I'm not always sure why. But it's big and buggy and rubber legs flopping every which way and they, they just seem to whack it. Just for uh, grins, I've added a picture of a golden stone that is in a face-off with uh, the Chernobyl land. And you can see similarities and differences here. So 
I hope you've enjoyed this pattern. So that has been your Sun River Anglers Fly Time Corner for this month. I hope you've enjoyed the Chernobyl Ant. If you like what you see, please visit us on Facebook and subscribe to our page, Sun River Anglers. And please also subscribe to this YouTube page and that'll help assure you get updates every month when new uh, fly patterns are released. Thanks for watching.